the wealthy versus the first world poor are money beliefs. Uh, do you know that uh, you know for every belief you know that you hold uh, about money or anything, there's an equal and opposite belief. You know, even if, uh, if you don't uh, agree with it. So anything that you believe in, somebody else probably believes the opposite of that. So I started to share with you uh, some of the money beliefs that uh, people hold. And uh, it will be interesting to see which particular side of these beliefs you are assigned to, because uh, that is quite a key as well to understand where you stand and where your mentality is. So um, look at this, for example, you need money to make money. You know, which side of belief is that? That is probably, you know, the side of the poor belief. You need money to make money. But on the other side, the wealthy people, what do they believe in? You need ideas, you need energy, you need service in order to make money. You know, the monetary system is evil, unfair and corrupt. On the other hand, the monetary system is amazing at quantifying value. It's getting harder and harder to make money. It's getting easier and easier to make money. You know, debt is a bad thing. Now, good debt is good. Yeah. There isn't enough money in the world. There's a limitless and abundant and infinite supply of money in the world. You, know? you have to work really, really hard in order to make money. You have to make money really work hard for you so make the money work hard for you so you have to work smart you know it was my parents or somebody else's fault that i don't have money you know my parents really did the best that they could you know and it is in my control to make money yeah if i make money it will have to be at the expense of somebody else if i make money it will be by helping and serving other people. You know? I don't have time to make money. I don't have time to do low value tasks. I can't do it. I'm not good enough. I am best at the things that I do in the world. And the world needs me to serve. I can provide value and monetize the value very much so. I don't deserve to be rich or wealthy. It's my destiny and my calling to make and share riches and money with people. You know? I have to pay my bills and at the end of the day, there's nothing left. I pay myself first, you know, and from whatever is left, I pay my bills and expenses. Now, now this is the favorite one. The love of money is the root of all evil. Now, you only have to look at if this was true, it means that before money was invented, there was no evil. And we know that that's probably not true. So it can't be that the love of money is the root of all evil. But the love of money is also the root of all good things in life. You know? So uh, once you know and understand these beliefs, you, know, you can make a choice as to which one you sign up to, you know, to make a... So, Try and make it a good choice because whichever side you're into, it will determine your mentality and your attitude towards the pursuance of money or riches or whatever it is that you're looking to do. So make it a good choice. Until next time, go out there, experience, learn and grow. Cheerio.